This happened when I was around five to seven years old. During this time, my childhood room didn't have a door on the closet, only a thin layer of curtains that you could see through. Now, one night, I was trying to sleep and I had my back facing the closet when I started to feel this weird and comforting gaze on me. Thanks to my childhood curiosity, I turned in bed only to see this tall shadow figure in my closet. I can still remember the figure clearly. It was very, very tall. To the point that it was hunching over in my closet. It had a fedora too, which was weird since no one in my house wore a fedora. And it seemed to watch me until morning. Of course, I got so scared of the shadow that not hidden the covers, but... After having that figure appearing in my closet for months, I started to get used to it watching me and fell asleep more easily with facing the closet when it appeared. I named it Mr. Tall Man. Back in 2005, I was on a family vacation in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We stayed in a cabin in the mountains. Two bedrooms downstairs and a loft bedroom upstairs. The loft wasn't closed but had a large bifold window that could be opened to overlook the open living room below. I claimed the loft for myself. One night, I had gone to bed before everyone else. The bifold window was closed, but the light from the living room leaked through the cracks and dimly lit the room. I put my headphones on, popped my Avril Lavigne CD into my Discman, and laid down in bed. I was on my back, eyes closed, and fumbled around with the CD player trying to change the songs. I couldn't quite get it, so I opened my eyes to try and see where the button was. When I did, there was nothing but darkness. I was confused because the light from the window was gone and the room was pitch black. I suddenly realized something was covering my eyes because it began moving away from me, revealing the edges of its body in the light from the window. I stared, frozen, as this creature flew back, ending in the upper corner of the bedroom, and started disappearing into the shadows. I pulled the sheets over my head crushed my eyes closed and turned up the volume as loud as it would go. I ended up passing out like that for the night. The next morning I was telling my mom what happened and she tells me she also had a strange experience early that morning. She was sitting on the edge of her bed putting socks on when one of the dresser drawer handles which is styled like a door knocker, started lifting and dropping against the dresser. She watched it continue for a minute before reaching over and holding it down. Then another started doing it, so she held that one down as well. When a third one started going, she bolted out of the room. Several years later, I was relaying the story to a new friend, and 
His response to the creature's physical description was, Sounds like a wraith. And I immediately didn't know what that was. He pulled up an image to show me. And instantly, tears were rolling down my face. Not sad, just my body's response. It was exactly what I had seen that night. <laughs>